This is a demonstration of moment of inertia using a, a game that children play called flip the bottle. And what they do is they flip the bottle and they try to get it to land on its, on its base. But the fun part about it is when you take some of the water out of the bottle, maybe take two thirds of the water out, leaving only one third left, it tends to stabilize pretty well and you can, you can land the bottle. So at a birthday party of my grandson, last Sunday, the kids were doing this and I noticed a very, very interesting phenomenon that has to do with rotational motion. If you uh, flip the bottle like this, with it completely full of water, it, um, it does what you might expect it to do. It, it just rotates at a, at a regular rate. But if you pour out a lot of the water, we're going to water these plants with, with uh, water with red food coloring in it. So now we're down to about a third or a quarter full of water. And then you do the same experiment, something interesting happens. I'm still flipping this bottle with the same angular, initial angular speed. But it's slowing down. So I'm, I'm trying to flip it fast, and no matter how hard you try to flip it fast, it slows down and doesn't rotate at the same rate at the end as it does at the start. And in slow motion, what I'm hoping we'll be able to see is that while it's in midair, the water that used to be concentrated at the end is now split with some in the top and some in the bottom and rotating that way. And the idea here is then that with the water concentrated at the bottom, the moment of inertia of this is very small. It's spinning about an axis that goes through the center of mass of this water, if you can ignore the mass of the, of the empty bottle above it. And so it'll be rotating about an, an axis that's right pretty much smack dab through the middle of this bottom section of water. But when the water splits, and some of the water's here and some of it's here, the moment of inertia is considerably larger because the axis of rotation then will be in the middle of the bottle and you'll have a lot of mass up here and a lot of mass up here. It's farther from the axis of rotation. The moment of inertia is higher and that means that the angular velocity must be lower. So this would be like a skater who's starting off in a spin with her arms uh, close to her body and her legs close to her body and then letting her arms fling out to, uh, to slow her down.